The National Space Administration pushes ahead its Mercury astronaut program with a special report to President-elect Kennedy stressing the need for increased effort on the space front, the nation's Man in Space project receives fresh attention. At Langley Air Force Base, Virginia, a Mercury astronaut completes a simulated ride in a space capsule. He's Marine Lieutenant Colonel John Glenn, and he has this to say. I think probably the, there hasn't been maybe enough emphasis on, on the real goals of our program or the first uh, what we're trying to do on Mercury. Actually, we're trying to put a man in space so that we can determine what he, what his capabilities are, what he can or cannot do in space so that we'll know how to design future vehicles better for the man. Because some of these days we're going to have power plants that will enable man to go out in space and make decisions on where he wants to go and what he wants to do, much as we do in airplanes now. When we reach that stage, then man becomes not excess baggage, but he becomes a real vital, living, necessary part of this thing. Before man reaches space, chimpanzees will pave the way. At Holloman Air Force Base, New Mexico, the small apes undergo their own tests and training, and some of it is pretty complicated. Thorough physical checkup. They have to get used to the narrow confinement of a space capsule. They get intellectual training. To stay alive in space, they'll have to press levers to get their food, for one thing. If a certain lever is pressed 50 times, the reward is a tasty pellet. Now for a cooling drink. The problem gets trickier. To receive food, the chimp now has to match the three symbols in front of him. He's after a jackpot. Launchings of chimpanzees, if successful, may lead to putting a Mercury astronaut into orbit before the year is out. This fellow's about to experience the sensation of a launching. He's getting a ride in a jet-powered sled. He's not getting off the ground quite yet, but it feels about the same as the start of a trip to Mars.